Paris in 1930 was still a land of extravagance. People indulged in their last joyful moments before the Great Depression. In 1932, an invitation from Chanel stirred the high society of Paris. The Bijou de Diamant fine jewelry collection designed by Mademoiselle Chanel became a hot topic among socialites. Everyone was waiting to see how this renowned female fashion designer was going to change Paris's jewelry industry that was dominated by men. The much anticipated fine jewelry collection was unveiled at Gabrielle Chanel's private residence at 29 Rue de Fabourg Saint Honoré. Surrounded by lacquered core mantle screens from China, Chanel's jewelry collection was creatively displayed on lifelike wax busts. Inspired by stars, comets, the sun, bow ties, fringes, and feathers, Mademoiselle Chanel made the skin a palette for radiant diamonds and platinum. She stated in the original press kit, if I have chosen diamonds, it is because they represent the greatest value in the smallest volume. Like what it had done to fashion, Chanel revolutionized the jewelry industry. The pieces were adjustable, light, and delicate, with little trace of inlays or links. There were no clasps, and the wearer could wear them in different ways according to her needs. For Chanel, neither haute couture nor fine jewelry should hinder a woman's movement. She should be allowed to move freely. After London, Seoul and Hong Kong, the Mademoiselle Privé exhibition comes to Shanghai. It is open from April 20th to June 2nd at the West Bun Art Center. A new edition of the Bijou de Diamant collection and more recent pieces are on display. Three lacquered Rami screens created by the Chinese artist Wu Guanjin echo the Coromandel screens collected by Gabriel Chanel. Against a backdrop of traditional Chinese mountains and springs, the luster of diamonds brings viewers back to 1932. Time flows backwards here. Yesterday's innovations have been given a contemporary touch. Chanel's approach to jewelry dating back to 1932 is still kept alive in its fine jewelry boutique at 18 Place Vendôme. Lion, Camellia, and Eastern screens, all motifs loved by Mademoiselle Chanel have found their way into Chanel's recent masterpieces. Apart from outstanding craftsmanship, every breakthrough requires dedication to perfection. However, for Chanel, being avant-garde in the pursuit of perfection has always been tempting. <laughs>